this time last year, this term has brought about many more opportunities for new and returning students to socialise in person. For international students, this has been particularly special since COVID and global travel restrictions had not only seriously hindered their chances to experience a new city, but it also isolated them from collegiate and university life. Nonetheless, the relaxation of some restrictions and the presence of numerous international and cultural societies have undeniably helped in creating valuable support networks for those far from home. On this episode of International and Isolated, we are catching up with international students on how they cope with adjusting to life in Durham by engaging with their ethnic and home communities through these societies and other means. Hi, Arman. Can you tell me in a few words who you are? Uh, my name is Arman Haji. I'm a first year at Van Milder College studying international relations. I moved here from Singapore, so quite happy to be in Durham. What were your first impressions of Durham town and the university? Um, I think Durham's a nice, like, quaint little town. It's, uh, it's got a nice, like, feeling to it and really makes you feel like home as soon as I came here. I really like the feel of, like, the cobbled streets and the different bars and restaurants and everyone in Durham is just so friendly that I'm really having a good time. And the university has been amazing. I love my classes, I love my lecturers, and, uh, yeah, I'm excited to see what the next few years will bring in terms of opportunities. How did you initially feel being away from home? Um, not, uh, I was quite excited for it. I wasn't scared or anything. Um, I did spend some, uh, a year away from my family when I was in the military in Singapore. So I was quite excited about being away, but in another country. And yeah, I think it's helped me like grow into the person that I am. And I quite like that. Which part of adjusting to uni life in the UK, did you find the most challenging? I'd say the weather. <laughs> uh, it's very different. Uh, I was not expecting that the sun would set at 4.30. I just, it just happened one day and I was a bit shocked. But yeah, it's, it's not so bad. It just takes a couple of days to adjust and body clock's a bit different, but it's all right. It's not so bad. We are with Eileen from Mixed Society. Eileen, could you please introduce yourself? Um, hi, I'm Eileen. I'm a second year student from Van Milder and I study education psychology. I'm from Hong Kong. How did you initially feel about being away from home? Um, initially, I think I was quite excited for a new change, like a big change. But that in initial feeling, I was quite lucky for my parents to drop me off here. But as soon as they left, that was kind of like the big scary feeling of, wait, I'm alone in this country now. And that's when the panic kind of started hitting and then i was like shoved into this like new culture and i didn't really know what to do so initially it was quite scary but um yeah no it was a bit scary but also exciting all the emotions at once but yeah are you homesick me Ex <laughs> extremely homesick <laughs> i'm extremely homesick yeah so i've kind of described homesickness as like it's to the point where it's, I'm always homesick, that you just kind of learn to live with it. It's something that's always there, but you kind of just, it's not as strong or like it comes in waves at times as well. Just some days it will it'll just hit you all at once and you'd have this like massive, I, it's just, it becomes very overwhelming and there's nothing more than like that you want them to, to just go home. But it's also, then there's times where it's like kind of less, it's just like, I'm, I always miss home, I'll miss my parents and all that, but yeah. The new academic year has given way to the revival of the Durham student experience, including the increase in activity from international and cultural societies that have enabled many international students to reconnect with their home communities and the wider student body. Today we are here with Kelly, the current Singapore Society's president. Has membership for your society grown since last year? Uh, I would say that like, there's definitely a lot of like Singaporeans in like Durham. There's about, I would say an estimate of 200 plus people uh, over like the course of three years. But compared to a growth in membership between last year and this year, I'm not very sure because last year there wasn't much activities going on because of COVID and stuff. So like this year, it's a bit different. Do you think that it's an important thing to build a sense of community between Singaporean students? Definitely. I would say when I got 
to Durham in foundation. A lot, of, a lot of like my friends were Singaporeans, and like they were a lot of like, oh my god, my first few friends were definitely like Singaporeans. So if I didn't make friends with them, I think it'd be a lot harder for me to adjust to a different environment, a different culture. So having them as like a sense of what what do you say, a home. International students can access support by contacting Durham University's International Office, which can be found on the university's website or their college's international student reps. Also, for more general advice, the UK CISA has a student advice line that operates for international students around the UK. You're watching PAL TV.